Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back here again. Ron Wallace here with Balling Down South Sports Network. I have another episode here of the interview coming on. We got a double header today. And I can tell you this coach out is another coach out of Alabama in 3A classification out there in Hillcrest Evergreen. I can tell you they went seven and five last year, five and two, went to the second round of the playoffs. Let me introduce you to none other than head coach Clinton Smith. How you doing today, coach? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Pretty good, Coach, man. I, I, the day is not that sunny out there. It's kind of gloomy out there, you know, that storm's out there in the Gulf, and we got, we're got dealing with this pandemic here in the sports world. But how's the family? It's good, man. Everybody good, man. We trying to stay quarantined, man, and, and trying to stay safe. I just got a daughter, just got just graduated, man, so she trying to rip and run the street, trying to keep her in the house. So <laughs> you know how that go, man. So everything is everything. Well, well, coach, just so the people that people that may not know you that may be watching this this video across the country or this interview, talk a little bit about yourself before you got into the coaching ranks and then ultimately get into the uh, head coaching job where you're at now. Uh, went to Choctaw County High School, a uh, small uh, school out on West Alabama. Uh, graduated there in 2001. Uh, left there and went and played football for one year at Murray State University in Kentucky. So left there, uh, transferred to Alabama State, uh, transferred down there, played three years down there. I was on the 04 championship team, uh, played another year the year after that, uh, got done with that. And actually in 07, when I graduated with my bachelor's degree, um, I actually got hired in Evergreen uh, as an assistant wow. coach. So I was down there before uh, for six years. Uh, my first two years down in Evergreen, I was actually playing. Uh, I was actually playing um, uh, semi-pro football in the Birmingham area. Um, so did that for two years, a man, and got out of it and 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 started really getting down deep into the coaching. Um, I was there for six years. I was there with uh, Larry uh, Maurice Belsel for three years. I was there with uh, the legendary um, uh, Larry. Larry uh, Larry Barkin for three years. Um, and then I left there and went uh, and OC'd at Carver Montgomery for two years. Um, and then the head coaching spot came back open uh, at Hillcrest uh, going into that 15th season. So I ended up interviewing and getting it. And uh, the rest is history, man. Well, I can tell you this, Coach. Uh, Hillcrest Evergreen definitely had some, had some athletes there. You guys did pretty good this past season. Uh, getting to the set, advancing to the second round. Uh, just tell me, how were you guys able to put together such a successful season and then making it to that second round of the playoffs? Um, me personally, I, I think I think we should have did a lot better. Um, it was it was games that I, I personally think that we shouldn't have lost. Uh, but you know that's 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 smoking the wind. But uh, but like I said, man, we 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 got, I has I got some good kids on the team, man. A lot of kids buying into the program. Uh, I was able to uh, uh, get a lot of young, young guys out there, man. So I'm kind of starting out. Uh, last year was my first time having a seventh and eighth grade team. So we're in the process of, of trying to trying to make that happen uh, fully. Uh, so that with a JV team and a varsity team, man, I, I think I think we rocking and rolling down there, man. Wow, going seven and eighth grade team. That so basically those kids that's coming from there, it's basically like a form. And and those kids are being brought up. I'm assuming you guys get over there to just you know go watch some of the games, some of the practice, see what you may be possibly getting once they get up into the high school level. So that that's that's great to start them off young, and you can groom them. And I'm I'm very, I'm not sure exactly if you talk to some of the middle school coaches uh, about some of the things you guys are doing on the high school level, so those kids are ready once they get to the high school. Right, right, and 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 like I said, last year was kind of. It was kind of hard on us because I don't, you know, I don't have that many coaches. So you're looking at coaching a Monday night game, a Thursday night game, and a Friday night game, and still end up being, you know, uh, uh, one of the one of the powerhouses in the state, man. And and like I said, all you know, I didn't have that many coaches, so pretty much we coached three games a week, you know, besides the week that those guys didn't have a game. Uh, but this year, fortunate enough to have, uh, I actually got some coaches this year that's going. They're going to strictly coach the seventh and eighth grade team, and some of those guys are actually some of the guys that actually coached them in Pee Wee. So that uh, that's that's a big step for us, uh, you know, so they can continue to uh, to coach those guys. 
Wow, and, and you know, then your coaches are familiar with the kids. They know their tendencies, and the kids will trust the coaches and, you know, fall under their leadership and their tutelage uh, with you at the helm. So in Hillcrest Evergreen, what are some of the things you guys have done up there, changes or anything with the school, with the program, facilities, you name it? Yeah, so um... – uh, my superintendent, man, you know, me and him had a long talk a couple couple week, couple months ago. And, uh, man, you know, I just, you know, I'm all about these kids, man. And I think, you know, me personally, I think that with, when we won the state ship in 17, man, it, you know, we really didn't have anything to show, you know, for for the kids for winning and being, you know, being successful and kids get, getting scholarships to schools and stuff like that. So me and him sat down, man, and, and we had a long conversation. So right now uh, we have the, the, the entire weight room uh, has a tin roof on it. And uh, we, have, uh, we have a cement slab uh, in the front of the weight room in the visitor side locker room. So, uh, so that's, that's real good. We finna get ready to put some brand new doors up. Um, we finna get a new scoreboard. Um, finna get TVs and stuff hung up around the oh, stadium wow. on game night. You know, so so we finna do all that stuff, man, and, and you know, get, get the people something to look at, man. <laughs> well, I, hey, I can tip, man. That speaks volume. You got, hey, you are now. You know myself, KT Thorne with Icon Sports. We do game of the week for football. So, uh, <laughs> hey, talk to your superintendent, talk to your principal. We want to come up there and host one of them games. I, I think you guys, uh, you guys gonna play Linden this year. I think, aren't you? Yeah, we got we got Linden week six, man, and and uh, me and Travis talk, man. He he's a real good friend of mine, man. We've been, you know, me and Trav been knowing each other for a long, long, long time, man. Even before this uh this 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 coaching deal thing kind of happened, man. And me and him, you know, it was kind of hard for me to find people to play, man. You know, you know, people don't, you know, you, you be successful, man, and you know, a lot of people don't want to play you, man. So I mean, that 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 goes with the job. Uh, but we talked and, and uh, you know, Trav is, is all about trying to get those kids an opportunity down there to, to showcase their ability in front of college coaches. Uh, the last past three years, man, you know, we, we've had numbers of coaches uh, on our campus. Uh, we've had some to, um, to, to stay and watch games. So Trav was like, you know, coach, in order for me to, you know, try to get these, these guys of mine some looks, you know, I, I need to play you and I need to play you at your place because I know you're going to have them <laughs> coaches there. But, you know, in the last past couple of weeks, man, he's been putting them kids out of there, man. He <laughs> he got he got them kids getting offers out the tail of there, man. <laughs> well, yeah, and, and, you know, that's basically what it's all about. You know, it's about getting those kids an opportunity uh, to further their education and also to uh, possibly uh, reach some of the dreams that may, they may have. So what what right. are, so with so with the kids you got coming you got coming back and and some of your new kids uh what do what do you guys look like uh you know going into this upcoming season? Well, you know we 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 lost a lot last year. Um, I had uh, uh, three power five guys. Um, I lost a, a, a running back that that should have been a power five guy. He ended up signing with Louisiana Lafayette. Um, had some guys to sign with Miles College, so we lost we lost a good little bit. But the good thing about it is, you know, we actually played a lot of guys last year. So the guys that's upcoming, um, they actually have some varsity experience. Um, my quarterback is back. Um, all of my O line is back. Plus, I got some young O linemen uh, that's going to be some big time. Some probably going to end up being some Power Five guys with their size right now. Um, Got some DBs back. Got some linebackers back. Um, I got to find a running back. Got to find a running back. I got three receivers that's returning. Um, so we're going to be all right, man. I think we're going to be all right. I'm kind of disappointed, man, because, you know, the spring was, was kind of our evaluation period, man, to try to see what these young guys can do and who we was going to be able to, to depend on on Friday. But like I said, man, we're going we gonna to start Monday, so we're going to be rocking and rolling Monday. Well, I know you say you you need a, you're looking for a running back with that returning line experience like you say they are. I don't, it won't take too too good of an athlete you need to put back there, uh, you know, to run behind that line. Cause I'm very sure they're gonna know how to open up holes. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the plan. 
Well, I can say this, man. Uh, if you guys can work it, man, uh, balling down South Icon Sports Game of the Week, we'll definitely uh, be there in Hillcrest Evergreen to cover you guys. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, how much media coverage you guys been able to get up there, uh, if any at all. Man, we we hadn't had no media coverage, man. If it if it wasn't for um, uh, my my sports news reporter, man, Mister uh, Mister Peacock, man, he does a great job with me. Uh, you know, he sends the stats in. Uh, he's kind of the guy. He he has a vote in for the Alabama Mississippi game or the North South game, so he's gonna vote kids in at Hillcrest. He does an excellent job, man. But as far as you know, news coverage and things like that, man, we don't we don't get any, man. You know, I've I've talked to guys from AL.com and 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 you know, people don't know what where we fall at. Are we in the the southern region or are we in the Montgomery region? So people really don't know. So we hadn't really got any any coverage. Uh, even the year we won the state championship, man, you know, it, we didn't get no coverage then until probably that week of going into the game. So. Uh, that's the struggle that we deal with down there in Evergreen, man. And, and like I said, I, I don't see a problem with us getting coverage because we, we're actually in between Montgomery and Mobile right off 65. So, you know, if guys leaving and going to Mobile or leaving Mobile, coming to Montgomery, where we all, wait, we all know that that's where the, the powerhouse schools are besides up in the, in the Birmingham area, you know, you got to pass by all school, all town, to right. get to those two places. So, uh, but yeah, I love to have you guys down, man, and and we'll set it up nice for y'all, man, and, and we'll make it do. Like I tell KT all the time, make sure they got some of them chicken wings out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You see, hey, you see, I got my Connecticut sausage hat on, man. I'm yes, telling you, man, come on down there and get you some, man. I, I, yeah, hey, we got I, the whole plant lined up. <laughs> yes sir hey matter of fact it's it's the exit before right i think it, it is the the exit isn't it it's the well if you coming from the mobile area it's the second exit it's the second, second exit. exit as soon as you take that second exit it's a mcdonald's right there the connect sausage factory right behind that mcdonald's man i can tell you hey if hey we get invited we definitely hey we'll definitely be there man i can tell you that <laughs> Well, Coach, I can tell you, man, it's been it's been great having you on the network, man. You're more than welcome any time to come on to the network. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna, we're definitely gonna be covering you guys uh, this upcoming season, whenever that season starts. Uh, not sure how long the season may be. Maybe they may shorten it. I don't know what the state's gonna do, but uh, we definitely wish you guys well. Anything you want to say to any of the young kids out there coming up, possibly their last season of high school football play? Anything that you want to talk to these kids about? Uh, I'll pretty much tell, you know, we, I think I do a good job of, of, you know, even guys that's not at our school, man, you know, if you can play, man, I, you know, and I, and a college coach come to my school, man, I'll try to do my best to get them to your school. Um, I'll tell you the same thing I told my juniors, um, on a zoom meeting where my upcoming seniors on a zoom meeting a couple of weeks ago, man, it's important for you guys to get you a Twitter account. You get yeah. you a Twitter account, man, and you make sure you post your videos, your workout, your private workout sessions, you know, post anything that you need to post pertaining to football. You know, report cards and grades and GPAs just came out. You need to post that. You know, post anything that you can post right now because these college coaches are sitting at home just like we are. You know, <laughs> so they watching film, they recruiting virtually. You know, my, my, my free safety got an offer from Jackson State uh, last week because he got on there and posted drill films uh, of him at home. And, you know, it, it's going to hurt you seniors because, you know, springtime and you don't have no rival camps, you don't have no Nike combines, you don't have none of that stuff going on. So it's going to be important for you uh, to get out there and, and sell yourself. So get your Twitter account, keep it clean. Uh, add as many, every college coach in the United States of America from Power 5 all the way down to NAIA JUCO is on Twitter. You get on there, you type in that school, you find those coaches, and and you and when they add you back, you DM them, and you tell them how much you're interested in their school. Uh, you send in highlight film, taste to them, all of that stuff, man. That is, it it, it going to make it seem like uh, you're getting on that nerve, but trust me, sometimes you have to get on that nerve to get attention. Get attention. All right, folks. Hillcrest Evergreen head football coach Clinton Smith. Thanks for coming on today, coach. Yes, sir. I appreciate it.